hello and welcome to Can I Say Something? What You Got to Say. It's me, Yolanda, and I am excited about my guest today. Um, none other than Nzinga. Nzinga Rito. She is my guest today, and I'm excited to have her because, as we all know, that October is the month for breast cancer awareness. And so I wanted to make sure that my viewers were um, informed, um, inspired, or motivated to make sure that they take care of business because we have something that as ladies that we all should be concerned about. And so none other than Nzinga, and she's here today to, um, to just talk to us about breast cancer, breast cancer awareness, and what it is that we as women should be looking out for. How you doing today, Nzinga? Yolanda, blessed woman, I am excellent. Thank you. And thank you so much for having me. Uh, talking about your, uh, um, sharing about your story, it, can you share a little something about you personally? Yes, ma'am, I can. Uh, again, the name is Nzinga Rito, born and raised in Houston, Texas, the youngest of six children, went to the North Forest Independent School District, left from North Forest Independent School District, left and went to Paul Quinn College up in Waco, Texas, where it's now in Dallas, Texas. Um, love God, love the Lord, love serving, love people. I am so grateful to God for his call on my life. Other than that, into ministry, I'm a, one of the servant leaders at, at Hope Over Hurt here in Houston, which is a mm -hmm. global outreach missionary ministry and local here in the state of Texas and mostly here in Houston. We serve, we outreach, and we empower the community. I love the I love this community. I love the work of God. I love being his hands and feet. And I mm -hmm. love him for saying us to go out and do the Great Commission. And that's exactly yes. what you're doing too. So I bless God for the work. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. Thank you so, so much for your time, for your effort just to share on today. And so, um, Nzinga, do you have a story to tell? Yes, ma'am, I do. Well, Six, uh, what you got to say? Hey, here we go. <laughs> Six years ago, the Lord allowed me to go on an, an amazing journey with him. Mm -hmm. I was going through the process of being a living kidney donor and was going through that process to help out a sister at that time. I knew her, but she did not know me. Mm. And I, it was a call from our church, the church I was attending back then, which was Windsor Village, mm. United Methodist Church, that said, we have okay. a sister here that needs a kidney. And it just came over the announcements. And while I was sitting in the pew, the Lord said, go get checked. Will you do this for me? And I wow. said, I said, yes, Lord, I will. Didn't tell anybody, told my family told my husband, my mom, and a few friends what the Lord had told me to do. Uh -huh. And my mom was so funny. She was so funny to me. She said, if the Lord gave you two kidneys, that's what he wanted you to have. <laughs> <laughs> I said, mom, no, I believe he, said, he has pushed me and shared with me to go and give this lady one of my kidneys, become a living donor. Went through all of the process to do uh -huh. that. Then Hurricane Harvey hit. So this was back okay. in 16. Hurricane Harvey hit in 17. And when Hurricane Harvey hit in 17, a lot of things slowed down. So I wasn't able to complete the full process. After mm -hmm. Hurricane Harvey lifted a bit, I went back. I was going through MD Anderson, their Living mm -hmm. Kidney Donor Foundation. I was going there. And after it lifted a little bit, I went back because I only had two more tests to do before mm -hmm. surgery to donate that kidney. Uh -huh. And the last surge, the last test was one was going back and do the urine test. Yes. And then the next one was to go and do another um, mammogram. And when I okay. went to do the mammogram this last time, they said, mm, we believe you need to go now and get another biopsy because we see something wow. on the mammogram. And I'm like, wow. okay. And so I started talking and, and, you know, with friends, loved ones and all of that. Then I went to the rose 
I went to the Rose to get the mammogram done. Mm -hmm. And that's again, now this is now, that was 2017. We went through all of the rest of that. This is now 2018, August of 2018, when I'm trying to revamp mm -hmm. to go and finish this assignment that I knew it was from the Lord. In 2018, August, 2018, I went to the Rose and that's when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And wow. I said, at that moment, the enemy had infiltrated my body. And at mm -hmm. the moment where the lady said, this is what you have, God said, you're healed. Mm. Wow. The moment she said it, God said, you're healed. Wow. And I thank God for the, the living word of God. Mm -hmm. Because it's in me, you know, it's like I hide your word in my heart so that I won't sin against you. Yes. And I take you at your word before he spoke it. I already had received and believed by his stripes, uh -huh. I'm already healed. And when she said it and he said it just right at that moment, and I had mm -hmm. great girlfriends that was with me uh, at mm -hmm. that time. Uh, one, the, definitely the servant leader that I'm working with now with Hope Over mm -hmm. Hurt. And mm -hmm. while we were in that office, right? Mm -hmm. The lady, when she came in, the doctor came in. And when she said it, now, mind you, Yolanda, I'm looking around the room. And mm -hmm. I see this pink bag over in the corner. Uh -huh. with goodies. No way did I think that pink bag was for me. So once she said what she said, and she brought it out of this brown envelope, and she placed it in front of me. Mm -hmm. Now, as soon as she placed it in front of me and said those words, my sister grabbed her all. I grabbed some things we put all on it, prayed over it the whole nine. Because once she said it and he said already healed, we knew that was a done deal. Yes. Just because of his promises, based not mm -hmm. based upon what he said. But then through that, he allowed me to say, he said, now, had you not taken the assignment to become a living mm -hmm. donor, had you not said yes, what, yes. Was, what was hidden would have never been seen. But because yes. you said yes, what was hidden yes. had to be exposed. Yes. And I said, Lord, thank you. And I, you know, so went through the whole journey. He said, now, can I trust you through this journey? And I uh -huh. said, yes, sir, you can trust me through this journey. He said, yes. and he said, Yolanda, he said, because this is not a death sentence because I've already told you you're healed. It's a uh -huh. life sentence. It's a mm -hmm. life sentence. He said, but so many of my people, my children, mm -hmm. when they hear a diagnosis, Mm -hmm. They've uh, the fear sets in so fast yes. that the fear takes them out way before the disease would. Yes. So remind them. That. So yeah. remind them that I'm faithful to my word. Now I'm sovereign. Every now it it affects everyone differently, mm -hmm. but it depends on not only your faith but your words and what you're speaking over yourself and what you're allowing mm -hmm. others to speak into your life and your yes. team your team of of witnesses around you supporting you and yes. so he's a i had great support through it all great support through it all and i'm so wow. grateful for sisters you know and i'm just so grateful for family you know that walk with me through that journey and that's why he said it was an amazing journey an amazing journey from start to finish God is yes. so faithful. He allows us to go through. Did I lose the hair? Yes. Did I go through chemo? Yes. He said, can I trust you to go through all of this for me and come on the other side and be the witness yes. of who I am and how great I am and how great I want to be in you. So did I go yes. through, went through, of course, the six rounds of chemo, mm. went through 32 rounds of radiation. Wow. Had a surgery, which was a lumpectomy. But how uh -huh. faithful God is, he spoke to the doctors along the journey. Yes. Me. I went to Texas Oncology, and I bless God for Texas Oncology. I went to them for the process, spoke with mm -hmm. the young lady, the doctor there. And the first mm -hmm. words out of her mouth when my sisters went with me, who mm -hmm. had already gone through this journey, mm -hmm. went with me there. She asked the young lady, she said, my sister Vanessa asked the young lady, she, the doctor, she said, Doc, if this was your sister, knowing what you know now, what would you what would you say the prognosis would be? She said, cure. Yes. Cured. That's what came out of her mouth. Uh -huh. We knew definitely that was the one the Lord sent to, yes. to work with us through this journey. But because my yes. sister had gone through it, she knew what to ask and some mm -hmm. questions. And so that's one thing I'm going to say during this month, which I have to say, is mm -hmm. if you're diagnosed with anything, don't go alone. And don't no. go at it alone because no. you don't have to. 
Yeah. Others have gone through certain things. And this mm -hmm. is how great God is, Yolanda. Mm -hmm. I had already walked with three people through their journey. Wow. Prior to. And the one who went with me was the one I walked through her journey back in 2010 and 2011. Wow. God only knows. And since then, mm -hmm. I walked with three more since. Wow. My own, you know, and I, yes. I bless God for that because we are supposed to do that. So we did, you know, my story is God is faithful to his promises. Romans 8, 28, he meant it. But we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Purpose, and, yes. And I bless God for that moment to have friends to walk with me through an amazing journey. My friends, and I say them, Vanessa Hall, Hattie Hooper, many others, my sister who came in literally from London out of six of the treatments, she made four of wow. those treatments. My family's from Dallas, my sister here, and many others around the community who knew and was in and kept me in their prayers. Yes. And that was the most powerful portion because the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Many much. prayed, That's what he said. many prayed and, you know, and I stood in the gap. And so what mm -hmm. I would say also have folk of like-minded faith. Yes. If you're going through any journey and some mm -hmm. folk that can pray for you when you cannot pray for yourself. Yes. But you, and what you don't want and others mean well, but this is something mm -hmm. you don't want. You don't want folk once you've been diagnosed. Mine's was, it was diagnosed at stage three. Mm -hmm. What you don't want family. And I love you. And I'm, I'm in, I love you, Yolanda, just for the opportunity to share what you don't. Thank you. And Zinga. Yes, ma'am. What you don't want is when you're going through something, uh -huh. you don't want individuals or people and they mean well, but at the moment they may say the wrong thing. And the wrong mm -hmm. thing is like this. Oh, you've been diagnosed with that. Oh, my grandmother was diagnosed with that and she died. Yes. <laughs> or my friend was diagnosed with that and they died. At that moment, that's not what anybody's going to want to hear. They no. don't. They don't, y'all. They love you, but they don't want to hear that. They want to hear, okay, we're going to walk with you through this. We're going to uh -huh. get through this together. I'm going to be there for if you need anything, let mm -hmm. me know. And that we may have our own solid moments away from the person where we're uh -huh. crying, where we're crying uh -huh. and where we're praying to God in our own, but in front of the person, uh -huh. you want to be as strong as you can. You possibly can, yes. As you yes. possibly can, and because they know you love them because you're there with them, you know? Yes. And at moments, y'all may have an opportunity to cry together, but don't let that be your, your face when you see them because they're looking for you to be upbeat and available for them at the moment yes. that they're going through. You know, yes. and that's the beautiful part. And if you have gone through and you know some things that they don't know, go in with them, ask some questions that will help them understand better what they're going through. Yes. That's what my friends did. That's what I've done now, working, going through it with others. But it's going through by faith and understanding that God is no respecter of person at all. No, he's not. And it rains on the just and the unjust. As well as the unjust. As well as the unjust. And it doesn't matter you and you. You may not, you may want to say it, but you don't have to say why me, because mm -hmm. if he allowed it to happen, there's an assignment mm -hmm. in it. There's an assignment in it yes. and you don't know what it is, but it may be when you go on the other side. And this is how yes. great God is because he's so sovereign. If you're not healed on this side, you're healed on the other. That's how great our God is. So it was yes, those moments, everyone who just loved me through it, walked me through it prayed with me through it, supported me through it. You know, it's those moments that I knew God was saying, all of this, I just want to show you who I yes. have for you. Yes. And as you've walked with others now, well, others are walking with you. And as yes. you continue to, you will walk with others. So we walk with yes. both women and men because men can catch breast cancer too. Also, yes. It's just yes. not as prevalent as it is in women, but it does happen. And, yes, you know, yes. and so it's like, so what else do I want us to do and to say, mm -hmm. please get your mammograms. Yes. Please get your mammograms. Don't put it off. I was talking with a young lady the other day, matter of fact, today. And in talking with her, she shared that it was, an, um, and she's a doctor mm -hmm. and her CNA aide and all of this at Texas Oncology. And she was saying, a young woman came in and she came in and she was saying, you know, I really haven't had a mammogram. For a long time. And when mm -hmm. she had one, cancer was found, had, had infiltrated her body and uh -huh. her breast. And so mm -hmm. the lady told her, 
that's okay at Texas mm -hmm. Oncology. It's okay. We found it now. We can work uh, with it. So I say, don't yeah. put it off. Self breast examinations, lying down, you know, you self massaging your own breast. Yes. If you feel anything, yes. uh, if you see a lumpy, rubbery, anything as you're going around your breast, that say, okay, I need to talk with my doctor. Yeah. I need to go to the doctor just to get this checked yes. out. Or no, I don't feel it's just this now. I'll wait a little later. No, don't wait because our bodies are fearfully and wonderfully made. And if yes. it's something out of order in our body, he's allowing us to find it for a reason because yes. it has infiltrated and it does not belong there. Yes. And you know, we know he's the chief physician, but guess he has graced and blessed others in the field yes. that also knows medicine. But he will also yes. one that will help those who are in medicine remember who even allowed them to do what they do. That's it. My goal was doctor, father astound the doctors through this journey. And wow. he did astound them through this journey. Because wow. as I always just said, every visit, the young lady would ask me, you know, how does it feel? The lump, how uh -huh. does it feel? And I said, it's getting smaller and smaller every day. Uh -huh. Every day. It's getting uh, smaller and smaller. Every day it's getting smaller and smaller. And uh -huh. I would always, because I've already had prayed up, my friends, we had, my friends held prayer calls for me once a week. We had prayer calls. We talked, they prayed over all of this, because when that, chemo goes into your body sometimes it you keep you wired or sometimes mm -hmm. it can keep bring you down lower and so yes. during those moments some moments it was up 24 hours after it because wow. your body's not used to the drugs yes. and it can be up and wired but sense wise sharp and so during those moments i'll say if you have to go through any of it and i pray that you don't but if you do uh -huh. the best thing to ever do if you're going through any type of disease and you're taking some hard medicine the uh -huh. best thing to do throughout the day and when you go to sleep, if you're a believer, and I hope and pray you are, and if you're not, I hope and pray you become one. The best yes. thing to do is to put scriptures in your ears on audio while uh -huh. you're sleeping and have it running and running all over you. Healing yes. scriptures, healing scriptures over you, or yes. worship, worship music over you in your hearing, all while soaking music in your ears all through the night, because we know there's an enemy who roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom That's he may devour. And seeking whom he may devour, and he always want to come to your mind first. So we're uh -huh. saying, we give no place to him, put the word in, put the yes. worship in, that takes it away. So that's when you wake up, you go to bed and you wake up, that's the first thing you're going to hear. Now, will you uh -huh. have some moments? Will you yes. have some moments where you may feel like, oh, I mean, I'm telling you, I had some moments, some days where I was yes. like, Lord, you only push human. me. It's like, Lord, yes. you're pushing me today to go when yeah. I don't feel like going, you know, even yes. to the doctor because of just your immune system becomes real. You become vulnerable with your mm -hmm. immune system because mm -hmm. that's what the cells do. It attacks and attaches themselves and it breaks to break down your immunity in your bodies. Mm -hmm. But that's why it's so important. Not only the vitamins, the supplements, the nutrients, all of that, you want to make sure you have that in your body, you know? Mm -hmm. So, because I had a moment, one of those moments, mm -hmm. but I think it was probably the fifth round of chemo. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. in the room and my I was in the room. I didn't want to get out of the bed, y'all. And this is mm -hmm. the God's truth. And I've gone through five rounds. I didn't want to get out of the bed one day. Mm -hmm. And I was just laying and I felt so just low, you know, I felt just like, oh, I don't want to get out of the bed, daddy. I just don't. I just want to lay here. Yeah. And I did for almost 24 to 26 hours. And in between wow. that time frame, my mom, I remember, came around to the room and she said, hey, you OK? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. And yeah. the enemy was trying to keep me, get me into and keep me into a state of depression. And yeah. I laid there and I know what to do, right? Mm -hmm. And But I laid yeah. there. And while I was laying there, the what I've shared and told many other people, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, I heard the thundering in my spirit. It said, fight. Mm -hmm. You fight. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> now you fight. You fight. Yolanda, I'm telling you, for those who don't, I went into literally my spiritual language mm -hmm. and I went back to the worship and I went back to the, the everything, the music, the scriptures, yeah. all of that for a great period of time, because uh -huh. I knew that what the enemy meant was definitely for evil. But God, sure enough, wanted to turn it around from my good and his good. glory. Yes, ma'am. Yes. But yes. it was a moment. So I had one yes. out of the whole journey. That was the one. 
That and was the one. That was the only one out of the whole journey. Wow. And I say, God, thank you. After it came through that one. Then yes. after that one, it was only one left. Mm -hmm. And going through the last one, all of the doctors from the first one to the last one. Mm -hmm. After the very first one, Yolanda, the doctor said, where was it? Mm -hmm. Where was the Where mom? was it? <laughs> where was it? I feel nothing. I kept hearing those reports and every time my me, and my, me and my friends and my sisters who would go there, we, every time we're saying in the doctor's office, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Praising him every step of the way. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. And they look at wow. she, and I just say, God is faithful even when you're faithless. Yes. He's faithful. Even when your faith is wavering, he will show you a sign through someone, through a text message, through a song, yes. through a word or something that he's still there in prison. And he's saying, you have what it takes. When you're weak, I'm strong. Yes. When you're weak, I'm strong, but go through literally like a good soldier. So yes. those moments I've had, I had to have a, a tooth, ampu you know, taken out, extracted because mm -hmm. of the, the, the chemo, right? Yeah. So I had face swole, all of this, but kept going. Didn't let anything stop what he Yeah. Did. Because I knew his promises. He, Hey, he said, in Exodus 25 and 16, I'm the God that healed you. Yes. <laughs> Period. So I already know, <laughs> I already know the end result of what he said. And that was 1526. You mm -hmm. know, so it's like believing the word, holding fast to the word, not compromising what he said, mm -hmm. going through, why not? Mm -hmm. So when it would, so I didn't ever say, why not me? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Why me? It's like God, my friends would always say, why not you? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, God, why not me? To be able yeah. to trust you through this so others can glean and trust you as well, as best yes. as they can, and hold on to the faith that they we profess and confess to everybody. Let's walk out. It is an active faith that we must yes. walk out. And we must yes. walk out amongst unbelievers as well. So God yes. used it as a praise party and testimony inside the doctor's offices where we wow. gathered and prayed with others while I'm hooked up to the port and getting chemo myself, we're praying with others. Yes. Because that's what God wants us to do, to be yes. his hands and feet no matter where we are, because he is a living savior in us. Yes, he is. And he wants us to be that example, no matter what we're going through, we can mm -hmm. give him glory every step of the way. So yes, I would say, yes, you, get your mammograms, go to the doctor, speak to friends. If you ever come be diagnosed with anything, I pray you don't just know it's an infiltration of your body and do me yes. this favor, family. Whenever you're diagnosed with something, don't receive it as yours because yes. don't receive it as yours. You hear their report, but I want you to believe the report of the Lord who said, yes. by his stripes were healed. That's what he said. We're yes. children of the most high God. Yes. He fearfully and wonderfully made us. Yes. Jesus, Jesus went around healing those that were sick of disease uh -huh. and casting out demons. That's and what he sick. did. And so it's not to receive. So please don't say this is my this or this is uh -huh. my that. It's an yes. infiltration of it. When you say this is mine, you take ownership of something that God has not given you. Yes. And we don't ever want that to happen. So I would say yes. that as well. But yes, get your mammograms, talk to your daughters, your husbands, talk to your wives, sisters, talk to your children, sisters, brothers, all of this family, talk about it. Talk about it because we need to. It is unfortunately running rampant in the our community. Yes. And the Latino community. And yes. it's because of, so I'll say also, let's check our eating, right? Yes. Because we know yes. it's a lot of things in the food that is also toxic for our bodies. Yes, and it so is. it's like coming back and let's say, okay, I know I've eaten too much of that. Let's go back to let's eating some things that we know. And once you pray over, you still are good, but we know in moderation, you can eat some things. But when we uh -huh. overindulge, that's where, okay, that's a little bit too that, much. That's where he has a problem. That's where he has a problem. When we overindulge and yeah. become gluttons to stuff. But yeah. it's also too, do your own research. Everybody's, yes. it, everybody's body is different. But our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Right? Yes. So it's like, know what your body can and cannot tolerate. Yes, we can do the fruit. Yes, we can do the vegetables. Yes, we can do the nuts, the beans, the grains. We can do all of that. And it's mm -hmm. a good thing to do because mm -hmm. as you as we get older stuff, our body metabolism is not as high as it was when we were once younger. We were younger. And, but yes. we need things to filter out just as much as it has come in. And yes. so it's like, talk to folk who have gone through anything 
but that you're going through, if you can't find them, you know, Google is not God, but there are some things on Google you can find. Yes. Now, but the other thing is, do me a favor, family. If you ever diagnosed with something, don't go to Google first. Go to God first. Please <laughs> go to God first. Because I, yes. know, I know too many sisters that have been, maybe something has Girl. come up in their life and they've gone to Google and Google almost killed them from what they yes. found. So it's like, please go to God first and go to somebody with some intelligence in the area that you're thinking about. Yes. <laughs> I, and you know, and I'm laughing, but it's not funny, but I just need you to please to be serious yeah. about it. And I pray again that you don't ever get diagnosed with anything. But if you do, let's go to God first. Let's reach yes. out to somebody we may know, some support group, somebody we may know have gone through something. Ask some of your, your one, two, three close friends that they know anybody who may have and let them talk to you and give you an opportunity yes. to talk with somebody else because that could ease a lot of what you are feeling. Because we guess yes. what? Through any diagnosis, through any journey, what you really want is no stress. No stress. Because stress pretty much aggravates your cells and can yes. change yes. your DNA. I heard that. And can totally change your DNA. And you want yes. a great support team. This is a support team. If you're diagnosed with something, these are some sisters or brothers. You want a support team that say, I got you on this. I may, okay, let me take you to your treatment. Let me take you mm -hmm. to your doctor's apartment. Let me cook for your family. Let me clean yeah. your house. Let me run these errors that you can't run. Let me sit with you and let's go over the word together. Let me pray with you. Let me go exercise yeah. with you because you may not want to exercise, but let's go walk at least down the street yeah. because you got to keep moving. So yes. let me do this. That's a support team that you know you can call on no matter what. And please don't be embarrassed to let your friends know what you're going through. Because yes. they can help you during this time. So yes. you want to do that. And you want to get some good sleep during the journeys, whatever your mm -hmm. journey is. You want to lay your body down because a lot of times our bodies can heal themselves through proper rest. Because mm -hmm. God literally designed the body to heal itself. Yes, he did. You know? So he did, since he did. So you want to do that again. You want to... Uh, of course, have a support team. You want to definitely, definitely have no stress. You want to exercise. You want to watch what eat you right. eat in your diet. You want to watch what you're eating. You want to mm -hmm. also uh, get that sleep. You want to make sure there's no environmental toxins. So you want to look at the chemicals you're doing in your hair and your face, your whole body. Yes. Because so environmental yes. toxins are real too. You yes, want to make are. sure you want to make sure you're monitoring it, all of that. Yes. And 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 I think and that's a lot of what helped me. Yeah. You know, and so I would say if you do that, that's a lot of what I have to say. I want to say that God is just so great and greatly to be praised. And I love him with all my heart, mind, soul, yes. and strength. And I bless him for who he is. And I bless him for the sisters and other sisters, you know, um, Sister Wendy, who was with me there as a co-leader with uh, Hope Over Hurt, was with me through the dynasty, with me through it all. My other sisters, mm -hmm. Vanessa and Hattie, with me through it all. Some other sisters apart. It's good to have sisters. Yes. Walk with you through a journey. Brothers, it's good to have brothers that can yes. walk you through a journey. It's good to have folk that you know are praying on your behalf, holding you up in prayer, just like Aaron and her heard up, held up Moses' hands when yes. Joshua was in the battle. You know what I'm saying? When he was in the battle, they was holding him up and holding up Moses' hands. So, hey, if the staff came down, Joshua started losing. As long as the staff was up, Joshua was winning. Amen. Yes. And that's us through prayer. So we hold each other up like that. And I'm grateful for those who did, those who came out, those who walked with us through the first walk. So that was August, in August of 2018. And here is six years later, God completely restored, healed. He did exactly what his word has said. Yes. Because he's so wow. faithful to it. And so when she, when she said, this is what it is, and he said, healed at the same time. I always go with what he says. Yes. <laughs> what he says <laughs> first. And that uh that charts the journey more. He said it. That's peacefully. it. And it makes mm -hmm. the journey more peaceful because you understand who it is that is mm -hmm. leading you through it. And that's why we're grateful to call it an amazing journey. Because mm -hmm. through it, the testimonies that came from it, the lives that have been shared and changed because of it, my life has been changed because of it. And so I've said forever, I will always be available to help encourage anybody if they go through this journey oh or any other journey to know that you're not going through it alone. You're not the first one. Many others have. Now the yes. prayer is, we know that we've been trying to get a cure forever. Unfortunately, yes. folk who have come up with certain things mm -hmm. that will literally cures 
for this cancer and other uh -huh. disease that we know of, like sickle cell and all the other ones. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have a country and a system that wants to thrive on people being sick. Yes. And we're saying the devil is a liar. Yep. And mm -hmm. the prayer is for the breakthrough that we know is out there to mm -hmm. come full force to the forefront and be mm -hmm. utilized for the wellness of people so that they don't have to go through so much trauma when we know there is definitely a cure truly with the word of God, but also with those he's given the ability to design mm -hmm. medicine for the yes. right reason and not yes. for profit, but yes. for really to help folk in there because he can work with the medicine. He's over yes. it. He mm -hmm. knows what they're doing with it. But it's that that's my prayer. Folks stop yes. playing with the people of God mm -hmm. that are in these offices and research labs and all of this and those that are praying for more boldness of those who are coming up with cures for certain ailments mm -hmm. internationally uh -huh. that they come up and be unhindered by the enemy and by man to yes. allow what they break it into the area to come and pass whatever the criteria is for it to be properly put out on the shelves or in the doctor's office for others to get that really need Jolanda because the yes. enemy is literally once his MO has not changed, kill, steal, and destroy. And destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and yes. that life more abundantly. Yes, so that's God what he said. We want the abundant life of Jesus to be lived through us as mm -hmm. we can, so that we can die empty knowing, knowing that we've done everything he's asked us to do in the earth to help others come to know a living, loving savior and to receive them, receive him for themselves. Wow, what a beautiful testimony. Awesome. Amen. I Amen. was not expecting this. Oh my God. And I hope and pray that the viewers who heard this, I hope that you heard who she put her trust in and oh. that was nothing but God. Nothing. And I pray tonight that you know him. And if you don't know him, if you don't know him, this is the alarm. This is the opportunity yes. to get to know him right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Those of you who are watching on tonight, on today, I pray that you heard something. And not only did you hear it, but I pray that you received it because somebody, somebody needed to hear this testimony and it may not be you be you but you know somebody who needs yes. to be encouraged and who needs someone that is bigger better yes. and higher than any of us are and that's none other than god Amen. i am so excited and so glad that nzinga came to share with us on today and you know i say that we are in Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but I just want to encourage the viewers that I feel that we as women should be concerned about our health, our breast health, not on particular times of the year or particular months within the year, yes. but every month. Yes. Every month, Amen. we should most definitely do a breast examination. And don't be afraid. Don't be um, second guessing anything. If you feel, see, think, go to your doctor. Get to the doctor as soon as possible. And you know, um, you know, the, the word of God, by his stripes we are healed, wouldn't be in the word if it was, this is our natural body. And there's just so many things that attacks our body. But glory be to God who has given the physicians yes. Yes. what they need yes. to deal with those um, that are sick with, with diseases and and all the, the sickness and the situations that come up on us manically, yes. it's still God working the miracle. It's still God working things out. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Nzinga, for...
for coming and sharing on today. And um, wow, <laughs> you say you love me. I love you too. And this is just, I feel like a new, a, a, a brand new beginning of a relationship. And mm -hmm. I have to go back and most definitely tell my sister. Um, she's not my biological sister. But sister Renita. You know who I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, sister I got to go back and tell her, wow, you were awesome with sharing oh. your testimony. And I thank you. And I thank God. Um, he's not dead, y'all. He's yet alive. And when man's impossible comes up on us, God gets delight in working on man's impossible because he can do anything. And we just have to look to him yes. and trust in him. Amen. Thank yes. you again, Nzinga. I appreciate you. And um, this was awesome. This was awesome. I bless I God for you. you. I bless God for you. And I thank you as well. And you're right. My sister Rhonda and that's her good friend, sister Renita. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. And then I'll, I, you know, that opportunity to just thank her for just even recommending you yes. know, to you. And I think like, again, like I said, my sisters, sister Wendy, sister Vanessa and sister Hattie, because, you know, there's uh -huh. something that's just real close that walk alongside uh -huh. you no matter what. And even uh -huh. sometimes when family is not aware, your birth family, yeah. right? Thank yes. God we have an extended family through the blood yes. of Jesus, right? And so the yes. last part of that testimony is, guess what? I'm going to say, guess what? what? The sister who I was donating the kidney to. Oh, yeah. We got to go back. We got to go back to the beginning. No, what no, this is how we can close it out. The sister I was donating the kidney to. The Lord uh -huh. only allowed me to share with her that I wasn't able to complete the assignment. Mm -hmm. She was like, and we went to dinner prior to my last treatment. So uh -huh. right before my last chemo treatment, me and her went to dinner. We just hung out and talked and da-da-da. And do you know what she told me then? What she told you? Somebody else has already come up. And my last treatment was like February the 7th of 2019. Uh -huh. February, I think, the 12th. She went uh -huh. through a five-donor process and received a, kid a kidney through a five donor transplant process going on at the same time. Wow. Her and four others. It was, it was massive. And I'm telling you, she received God. her kidney. God had a ram in the bush and she he received sure her kidney, healed me and healed her at the same time. And now she also living her best life, grateful yes. to God and loving just as he said. So I had that, that blessed me. My hope over hurt family blessed me. I'm telling you, they did all kinds of things through the journey. My uh -huh. sister friends came together, you know what I'm saying? Did a hair cutting, uh -huh. did a hair cutting ceremony, wow. prayed over me, yes. all and everything. We praise yes. and worship as we cut, you know. And and that's how great God is. If you go through understanding you're not alone, that God loves you and He has placed yes. people also to love you, it helps the journey to be better. For you yes. and for those around you. So again, I'm yes. like you. Every day, take uh -huh. an opportunity to do something in regards to your health if you're able to. Yes. And I'm like you. 12 months out of a year, you don't have to wait again to a specific month yes. or whatever it is. We want you mentally sound, physically sound, spiritually sound, emotionally yes. sound. Mental health is a concern. Everything is a concern. COVID yes. didn't help us. COVID did not help us. It made many folk be alone and we know yes. when you're alone the enemy wants to come in so a lot of folk oh, are, coming, are coming back from those things and there are yes. some things that are still having effects on their bodies from long COVID so we're like yes. saying hey be aware don't be afraid you may be going through something now you're not the only one talk to somebody about it just do us a favor don't isolate yourself Yes. Please don't, definitely. please don't isolate yourself. Please reach out to somebody. You can reach out to me. I don't mind. It's, if you don't mind, if I share this, it's in Zynga Speaks on Facebook, Instagram, X. Uh, uh, it, in Zynga Speaks. In Zynga Speaks on all, of, on those three platforms. Okay. And the art, you can email me at Nzinga at hopeoverhurt, hopeoverhurt.org. Uh -huh. uh -huh. 
would love to love on you, pray with you the whole nine. Today we spent, no matter when you show this, we spent a day at Texas Oncology today, loving on, sharing with wow. the same place I went through. We make it a point yeah. to go back annually to give back, mm -hmm. to help mm -hmm. encourage the women that are going through today. Yes. So we still went back and loved on, prayed with, hugged up, gifted, gave them many things. We had some good team sponsors, the whole nine. So it's like, when you're not going through it alone, but when you go through, go back and give back. Yeah, that's, yes, 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 most definitely. Yes, go back, reach back and help someone else through the yes. journey. Through the yes, journey. and that's what God expects us to do. Yes, he doesn't expect for us to get the victory and sit down on it, but he wants us to share with yes, others because through it all, God gets it's the glory. The glory. That's Amen. the whole purpose yes, is that God get the glory. God and so glory. once again, I'm excited that I heard your testimony. Amen. I am encouraged. Amen. I'm going to do better myself with Amen. doing what I need to do. Yes, but I'm just excited that you came and share with us on today. I appreciate you, Mzinga, mm -hmm. and I look forward to we're going to have to do something with each other <laughs> somewhere in the future, in the near, near future. I, uh, uh, viewers, I just found me a new friend and Amen. I thank God for you. I really do. And Amen. I most definitely thank the, uh, God for the friend that you and I share together. Amen. Renita. Yes. Thank you. And I just want to say to the viewers, do not isolate yourselves and look to God for your help. Look to God for your strength. Trust in him. Get into the word. Like she said, get into the word, get into worship and allow him to be there with you as you go through your journey. And, in the, and, and I guarantee you yes. that you will get the victory and most definitely God will get all the glory and the honor. Amen. Well, this is, can I say something? What you got to say? Thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.